Thank you, and thank you very much for being here today. It's a really packed room right now. This is not stressful at all. Uh, so I'll do my best not to look so stressed. OK, so some time ago, <clears throat> I was working on a UI that, had, that was displaying a bunch of data on the page. That data was coming from a GraphQL backend. And that data was paginated. And it was paginated following the relay spec. So came a time where I needed to add a feature to, sort, to let the user sort that data based on the fields that they wanted to sort on. So I figured GraphQL, the GraphQL specs lets me select fields in a data set. It lets me join data sets. Also, the relay spec lets me paginate data. So that sounds familiar. I should probably be able to find a way to sort and filter, or a way to do that. And sure enough, uh, Lee Byron commented that GraphQL does not support that. It's, not, it's rightfully not the place to do that. Um, and if you do that, most systems use field arguments. And they do. The problem is they all do it differently. So hi, I'm Jeremy. I work for Cloud Health by VMware. And before that, I was working at W3C, which should explain to you why I'm here on stage talking about standards. So I was looking for a good example to give to illustrate my patterns. And last time I gave a GraphQL talk, it was about beers and breweries. Um, I really quickly realized that not being a fan of IPAs in the US will not give you many friends. So I decided to find another inspiration. I asked Google, hey, what kind of movies do you recommend? And surprisingly, the first result was movies with The Rock, which was also mentioned. So very surprising, but I figured we're going to sort and filter movies featuring The Rock. And we're going to do that. So this is, um, this is what you would get initially, an unsorted, an unsorted. So why are we doing this? I'm trying to present a concise yet generic pattern for sorting and filtering. So keep that in mind. So we're going to add a, a field argument, like Lee mentioned you recommended, that accepts both field and order. The order itself is optional. It defaults to ascending. And you know it just works. Problem is, that's not enough. I want to support multiple levels of sorting, also known as multi-sort. And for that, we can use one of, we can use a, cap a very convenient capability of GraphQL, which says that if passed as an input to a list type is not a list, then the result of input correction is a list of a size one where the single item is the provided value. What does that mean? It means that if I accept a list of values, I can pass a list of values, obviously. I can pass a list with one value, or I can pass a single value, and I will be coerced into a list of that value. That's very convenient, because now we can do this. We can pass multiple values without having to change the queries that we wrote earlier. So passing just a single work. And as we can see here, we have, we have that list that is ordered exactly what we, like we want. All movies are sorted by release, release year. And for, for, the, for movies that were released during the same year, it's ordered alphabetically. What, what does the schema look like? The schema is pretty straightforward. I'm not going to go into details. But the two things to note are that the sort input is a list, like I mentioned. And the other thing is field is not a string. You don't pass just a string with the title in it. You pass an enum. That leads to a more verbose schema. But first of all, you can give that for your implementation to, Im to take care of. So you don't have to, to worry about the about that extra verbosity. And also, that gives you more control, more fine-grained control over what you, want, what you want to expose as a sortable field. So for example, you could say that users can only sort fields that have a corresponding database index. right? So that way, I can do that through the enum type. All right, what about filtering? Filtering will follow something very similar. We pass a field argument. Here, I pass a nested object that takes a field, an operator, and a value. 
a bunch of systems out there do it differently. So Prisma, for example, accepts um, a key value pair where the key is a concatenation of field and operator. Um, GraphQL Compose does it a couple different ways, but here I'm trying not to be confusing, just have one way to do it, and it does it. So I'm trying to, to get a list of all the movies from the Fast and Furious franchise here. I'm missing some. Why am I missing some? Because some do not have the word fast. They have the word furious, and some do not have the word furious. They have the word fast. So I could do this, which is what Gatsby does. I could pass a list of value, list of values, sorry, that should that would match my criteria. The problem is if I just show you that, it's unclear to me if I'm trying to get a list of movies whose title contain fast and furious or whose title contains the words fast or furious. So it's it's slightly confusing. It's the intent is not very clear. So I prefer to go for something a little more both, but also more explicit. There is no room for confusion here. All right, for my last example, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want, say I want a list of all recent movies within the last two years, all recent movies by The Rock, where, with The Rock, where Dwayne Johnson is not upset. What do I mean by that? Well, it's very straightforward. Dwayne Johnson is upset. Dwayne Johnson is not upset. <laughs> he is very upset. And here he's very confused, but he's not upset. So there we have it. It's the same query. It's a very similar looking query as we saw earlier. I have an end operator. A lot of systems will let you pass directly multiple keys without the end operator, but that has some problems. Again, it's confusing. You don't really know the intent if you just look at the query. And also, what happens if I want to list movies that were released between 2010 and 2015. I either have to to add to include a new operator that is very specific, and again, we're trying to go for something very generic here, or you have to do something key like pass multiple operators within the same object. So instead, I'm going for an explicit end operator, and I'm adding a constraint, which is a backend and forth constraint, which is that all objects within the field type must have an arity of one maximum. So you cannot have more than one key operator value pair. And again, it's all about not being confusing and being very explicit in your intent. So what does the schema look like? Again, it's, it's very straightforward. The main difference with what we saw earlier is that we don't accept a list of inputs. We just accept a single input, and that input is recursive because of the, the and and the or logical operators. And we can also see that there is a bunch of extra inputs, extra types. It's pretty verbose on the schema. You don't want to do that by hand. Ideally, you have all of that gets generated for you. So what can we take away from this? Um, I mentioned a few systems. I mentioned GraphQL Compose. I mentioned Prisma. I mentioned Gatsby. I'm sure there are many other tools, libraries, technologies, implementations that support filtering and sorting. They all have the same problem. They all implement a different format. So if you've used any of those systems, you know that if you expose something in one technology, it's going to look differently in another technology. So instead, I want to suggest a more generic approach that we can we can build a standard from. All right, so for those of you who read XKCD, what you just heard might sound familiar to you. Yeah. I'm on stage talking about a universal, better way to do something, and I'm just adding one to the pool, right? I'm not doing anything more than, actually, I'm even doing less than what others have done because all of those technologies have an implementation, and I don't even have one. I just have words on a, on a screen, right? So what can we do about this? Um, we know that GraphQL has a few specs. There is the GraphQL spec by Facebook. There is the Relay spec by Facebook. And we also know that 
Facebook is not the only owner of specs. Federation is a spec by Apollo. I believe that we can come we can come up with a spec or a set of specs for filtering and sorting that would solve the same problems that say relay salt for pagination. And we don't have to do it in a vacuum either. All of the examples that I've shown so far are compatible with relay. This is a relay compliant query that would support sorting and filtering. And in fact, I'm sure this is no news to you. You probably have that in your own systems. I'm sure half the room here has implemented filtering and sorting one way or another, and it looks more or less like this, not exactly like this, but it does work. We should be able to have the same everywhere. So if you are interested in this topic, I know that standards are a very sexy topic. Um, so if you're interested by this, or if you maintain your own library that has support for filtering and sorting, or if you maintain a library that does not yet have support for filtering and sorting, come talk to me at the end. I would love to find a way where we can work on something together and come up with a spec. Even if, even if at the beginning we only have two implementations of that spec, that would be twice as, mo as much as what we have already. So I think that would be a win, and then we can build up. So that I got. Thank you very much.